Were you aware that London allocated more than $70 million towards a proposed bridge intended for tourists, even though the project never actually commenced? From the tale of North Korea's Tower of Doom to a vast uninhabited metropolis to the largest deserted high-rise, let us delve deeper into the top five colossal undertakings that were never completed. Number 5. Changyun International Project China's economic boom over the last three decades has been nothing short of remarkable. As the country has grown in wealth and power, it has undertaken some of the most ambitious and impressive mega projects in the world. While China's infrastructure development has been impressive, it has also gained a reputation for creating deserted cities with little to no population. One such example is the Shangyun International Project, located in Hubei Province, China. The Shangyun International Project was an enormous development that included two distinct areas, a residential district and an entertainment district. The project featured European-style buildings, connecting bridges, parking complexes, shopping centers, and even skyscrapers. It was supposed to be a bustling metropolis that would serve as a new center of commerce and culture. However, the project came to an abrupt halt in 2014 when the real estate company behind it was investigated for corruption. The investigation caused property prices to plummet and the company to go bankrupt, leaving the development virtually abandoned. Despite the convenient location near rail and subway stations, the area is now inhabited only by stray animals, and the buildings are rapidly deteriorating. The once promising development is now a ghost town, and it has become a landmark for explorers who come to take photos and marvel at the fact that such a massive development could be left in such a state. The project was seized by local authorities in 2017, but there has been no further development since. The Shangyun International Project serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of overinvestment and unchecked development. While China's economic growth has been impressive, it has also come at a cost. The country has faced criticism for creating deserted cities that are not only wasteful, but also detrimental to the environment. In conclusion, the Shangyun International Project is a testament to the risks of unchecked development and the importance of responsible investment. It serves as a warning to other countries that may be tempted to pursue rapid growth at any cost. While economic progress is important, it must be balanced with sustainable and responsible development that benefits both the present and the future. Number 4. London Garden Bridge The next mega-project on our list was proposed for London's Thames River, one of the city's most iconic locations. The project aimed to build a floating garden bridge above the river, a concept first proposed by actor John Lumley in The Ninities. The plan was revealed in 2012, and the bridge, covered in trees and flowers and spanning 366 meters, was expected to connect the South Bank with the Temple area. It was promised that private donors would finance the bridge, with no public funds needed. However, by 2015, the Garden Bridge Trust, the charity behind the project, revealed that costs had risen to $260 million, $85 million of which would come from public funds, resulting in a public outcry and criticism for its extravagance. Critics argued that the bridge would serve no immediate purpose, as the area already had enough bridges, and it was too expensive compared to other similar projects, such as the Millennium Bridge, which cost just $25 million. The project was stalled in July 2016 for a financial review, and by 2017, cost had risen to over $280 million, with only $180 million secured. It was officially scrapped in August 2017 due to the high costs and lack of transparency, despite $60 million already being spent on the project, with the bulk going to the contractor and $12.5 million on design costs. The inquiry also revealed talks with Apple to fund and name the project the Apple Bridge, but the company wanted to open a store on the premises, which went against the project's vision. Thus, what was intended to be a sustainable and scenic architectural icon turned into a planning disaster that cost millions without even starting construction. Number 3. Doha Shark Crossing The 2022 FIFA World Cup was controversially awarded to Qatar in 2010 resulting in pressure for transparency and the resignation of several prominent FIFA officials. Despite the outcry, Qatar continued its preparations, which included infrastructure projects such as the Doha Bay Crossing, later renamed the Doha Shark Crossing. This ambitious project, consisting of three bridges interconnected by long underwater tunnels, was projected to cost $12 billion and host 6,000 vehicles per hour. 
However, low oil prices and a shortage of skilled labor led to a delay in the project after less than two years. In December 2019, Qatar's Public Works Authority invited local contractors to discuss restarting the project, which was postponed along with other non-essential mega-projects due to economic strain and a stretched labor market. While Qatar announced a $140 billion budget for completing its mega-projects in 2020, even if construction starts, the Doha Shark Crossing's completion date will likely be well beyond the 2022 World Cup, as it will take at least four years to finish. Number 2. Rai Gong Hotel The next project on the list is a massive undertaking from North Korea, which is a surprising addition since the country is not known for welcoming foreign visitors, especially from the Western world. Tourists can only visit the country on state-guided tours, and journalists are not allowed to travel there. However, there was a time when North Korea aimed to attract thousands of foreign visitors with a 105-story pyramid-shaped hotel that would have been the tallest of its time. The project was born out of North Korea's rivalry with South Korea, which was transitioning into a capitalist democracy in contrast to the communist regime in the North. In 1987, construction began on the Ryugyong Hotel with financial support from Russia. The building would have three wings, forming a cone at the top of the pyramid-shaped structure, with five revolving restaurants at the upper part of the pyramid, providing a panoramic view of the Pyongyang skyline. However, construction stopped in 1992 when the Soviet Union collapsed, and the project ran out of funding. The hollow concrete structure was then abandoned for the next 16 years and became known as the Hotel of Doom. In 2008, an Egyptian company took over the project and installed a glass facade and cladding for $180 million. But further engineering problems halted renewed construction efforts, and the building was deserted again. The structure came to life again in 2018, when the leaders of North Korea found a new use for it. They now display Korean history and government messages on the building's exterior, which is lit up constantly. However, projections suggest that completing the hotel will cost $2 billion, which is 5% of North Korea's GDP, making it highly unlikely that the project will ever be finished. Currently, the Ryugyong Hotel holds the record for the tallest unoccupied building in the world, although this record may be surpassed by the final project on the list. Number 1. Golden Finance 117 The last major project in this video takes us back to China, where one of the tallest unfinished skyscrapers in the world still stands. The construction of the Golden Finance 117 began in 2008 to make it the second tallest building in the world, after the Burj Khalifa in Dubai, surpassing the Shanghai Tower. By 2012, the tower's basement was complete, and it reached a height of 597 meters by September 2015. However, the project's developer reportedly went bankrupt and construction was suspended. In 2018, there were attempts to resume construction, but they quickly fell through and the project has remained dormant since then. Although some climbers attempted to climb the building while it remained unfinished, an April 2020 order from Beijing banning skyscrapers over 500 meters seems to have put an end to any hope of the project being completed. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest uploads. See you in the next video.